Hi everyone, in today's video I thought I'd just go through how you can add in audio effects. So this is things like your distortions, your delays, uh, reverbs and, and so on. Uh, so all I've got here is the uh, EXS24 sampler loaded up uh, and a, uh, a guitar patch. Uh, I've just you know cut off um, a little bit of the frequencies just to soften it a little bit. Um, and then in order to add in some, uh, you know, maybe some distortion, uh, what I can do is come down to the channel strip here on the left where it says audio effects. Uh, go ahead and click on that one. And then you get this sort of menu up here, right? Uh, so what you can do is, uh, let's say I want some, some kind of distortion on this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, click on this kind of distortion. And there we go. And that, that's it. That, so that pops up this uh, distortion patch, if you like. Um, and uh, we can have a quick listen to that actually. So not a great deal going on there. Uh, if we, uh, you can, what you can do is you can come up and usually in most of these, these patches that you load up, there are presets, right? So go ahead and click on where it says factory default, and then you can come down to uh, one of these presets here. Uh, so just turn this down a touch. There you go. And you can, you've, you know, you've, of course you can uh, change these yourself. So we can change the drive, for example. There you go, so you get a, a completely different sound. And if we turn that off again, there we go. So you can see it makes quite a lot of difference. And uh, and you can just click the little X in the top left corner of most of these patches to minimize that. Uh, and the good thing with, uh, with effects is you can actually add in multiple effects on your channel strip. So for example, we come under distortion here. There's a small gap uh, and it sort of uh, grays itself in. Um, click on that and then you can add in extra things. So let's go for a, a delay this time. Uh, we'll go for a tape delay. Uh, there we go, if we just play that. Uh, there we go, so pretty cool, right? Uh, and again, like I said, you can click on the uh, presets menu at the top here uh, and change to some of the presets. So pretty cool, and uh, we can add in one more just for the, just for the fun of it. Um, how about a... Uh, some kind of weird stuff like how about a ring shift so a modulation this time and there we go so it's as, it's as simple as that um, and um, uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you place all uh, audio effects straight you know directly onto your your channel like this uh, you may want to use sends uh, for example for your uh, for your reverbs or your delays so uh, what you can do is you can click in the middle of your FX uh, and drag it across to a bus send and then change the level here on this little pan point just there. Uh, and that's uh, that's usually a good way of separating, you know, or, or trying to dial in however much of that effect you, you might want. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see more of these videos, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching.